The Swedish Arthur Artillery Hunting Radar System, officially designated Artillery Lokaliserings Radar 2091, exemplifies Sweden's innovative approach to counter-battery radar technology, blending mobility, precision, and adaptability into a globally deployed battlefield asset. Initially conceived through a partnership between Ericsson Microwave Systems, now integrated into Saab AB, and the Norwegian Armed Forces, Arthur has matured from a regional project into a cornerstone of artillery detection for at least 12 nations, including Sweden, Norway, the United Kingdom, South Korea, and multiple NATO members like Italy and Canada. Engineered to track artillery projectiles, encompassing guns, mortars, and rockets, Arthur empowers military forces to pinpoint enemy firing positions swiftly and direct counter-battery fire with lethal accuracy. Its evolution across variants, Mod A, Mod B, Mod C, and the cutting-edge Mod D, delivered as Taipan to the British Army in 2024, demonstrates a relentless pursuit of enhanced range, accuracy, and operational versatility. Originally mounted on the Banvan 206 tracked vehicle by Hegland & Sonar, Arthur has transitioned to truck-based platforms with ISO fasteners, bolstering its mobility and enabling air transportability via C-130 aircraft or heavy lift helicopters like the Chinook. This portability renders it indispensable for rapid reaction forces, such as Sweden's Nordic battle groups, where it not only neutralizes artillery threats, but also safeguards civilian populations by deterring indiscriminate barrages. Arthur's technical prowess shines through its progressive capabilities. The baseline Mod A detects guns at 15 to 20 kilometers and 120 millimeter mortars at 30 to 35 kilometers with a circular error probable of 0.45% of range, adequate for effective retaliation. Mod B, adopted as Mamba by the British Army, extends this to 20 to 25 kilometers for guns and 35 to 40 kilometers for mortars, with a CEP of 0.35%, proving its mettle in Iraq and Afghanistan, with 90 to 95% availability under relentless combat demands. Mod C elevates performance further, identifying guns at 31 kilometers, mortars at 55 kilometers, and rockets at 50 to 60 kilometers, depending on size, with a CEP of 0.2% for guns, rockets, and 0.1% for mortars, and a capacity to track 100 targets per minute. The latest Mod D, branded Taipan, achieves an instrumented range of 100 km, potentially expandable to 200 km, with a CEP of 0.15% and a 120 degrees arc, maintaining high target throughput. Operating in the C-band with a passive electronically scanned array and enhanced by digital antenna technology in Taipan, Arthur excels in dual modes weapon locating to identify and classify enemy fire by trajectory, speed and range, and fire direction to guide friendly artillery. Its integration with C2 and SDAR systems amplifies its battlefield utility, offering real-time threat assessment and response coordination. In the Nordic and European theater, Arthur contends with formidable competitors like the American ANTPQ-53 and the Russian Zupark 1M each presenting unique strengths and vulnerabilities. The ANTPQ-53, a Lockheed Martin product, leverages an active electronically scanned array in the S-band, detecting rockets at 60 kilometers and guns, mortars at 20 kilometers, with 360 degrees coverage in network configurations. Its ASA design provides superior jamming resistance and a reduced electronic signature compared to Arthur's PESA, critical in electronic warfare intensive conflicts like Ukraine. However, its shorter gun, mortar range contrasts with Arthur Mod C and D's extended reach, and its reliance on networked operation can compromise standalone flexibility, an area where Arthur's single or multi-radar setups thrive. The Zupark 1M, Russia's X-band counter-battery radar on an MT LBU chassis, detects artillery at 20 to 25 kilometers, mortars at 30 to 35 kilometers, and rockets at 40 to 45 kilometers, tracking up to 70 targets per minute. Its CEP, estimated at 0.5 to 0.7%, lags behind Arthur's precision, and its range falls short of Mod C and D. While Zupark 1M integrates tightly with Russian fire systems, as demonstrated in Ukraine, its older technology and higher detectability in the X-band render it less resilient against electronic countermeasures and anti-radiation missiles compared to Arthur's modernized PESA and Taipan's digital enhancements. 
Arthur's operational legacy bolsters its reputation. In Afghanistan and Iraq, Mamba and Least Made units delivered consistent performance for British and Canadian forces, while Italy's Mod C systems, operational since 2013, reinforced NATO missions. Sweden's deployment in Nordic battle groups underscores its dual role in deterrence and civilian protection, a humanitarian dimension less emphasized by ANTPQ-53 or Zupark 1M. South Korea's substantial commitment, evidenced by a 795 million SEK Saab support contract from 2023 to 2028, highlights Arthur's strategic importance against North Korea's artillery-centric threats, where its rapid deployment and precision are paramount. The Taipan delivery to the UK's 5th Regiment Royal Artillery in September 2024, replacing Mamba, introduces rapid redeployment and enhanced target capacity, cementing Arthur's leadership in counter-battery modernization. Yet Sweden's February 2024 RFI to replace Arthur by 2026-2031, seeking a system with anti-UAV capabilities alongside artillery detection, signals a potential shift aligning with ANTP-Q53's multi-role potential. Beyond technical metrics, Arthur's design reflects Sweden's strategic priorities, mobility, survivability, and interoperability. Its air mobile configuration suits rapid response doctrines, while its PESA, though less advanced than ESA, balances cost and performance effectively. Vulnerability to detection, a universal radar challenge, is mitigated by tactical deployment such as Sweden's three-unit groupings, which enhance situational awareness and mutual protection against artillery, aircraft, or ECM threats. Taipan's digital advancements further reduce electronic signatures, a critical edge in contested environments. Compared to ANTPQ-53's higher cost and complexity, Arthur offers a leaner, more deployable solution while outclassing Zupark 1M in precision and technological sophistication. Its global footprint, bolstered by Saab's support infrastructure, like the UK's Fairham Radar Center and South Korea's local teams, ensures sustained operational readiness. Ultimately, Arthur stands as a premier WLR, surpassing Zupark 1M in accuracy and resilience, while rivaling ANTPQ-53 in mobility and adaptability. Its battlefield-proven reliability, from Gulf War deserts to Nordic forests, and ongoing upgrades like Taipan, affirm its dominance. However, emerging threats like UAVs, which Sweden's replacement plans address, suggest Arthur may need to evolve or yield to hybrid systems. For now, its blend of range, precision, and operational flexibility, backed by a robust support network and international trust, positions it as a benchmark in counter-battery radar technology through the late 2020s.